Welcome to the desert in the Arizona trails over here in Scottsdale. I'm gonna do a little walkabout and learn about the cactuses. Come join me. This is gonna be fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, come on. Okay, here we are. Let's go. Walking in the desert. What's this? Share the trail. There is no poop fairy. Dog waste doesn't biodegrade like wild animal waste. It sticks around for a very long time. Pick up your poop. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. This is my first walkabout. This is so fun. Hi, Mr. Narrator. How about some cactus descriptions? Sure thing, avocado. Suaro. This Arizona state flower is off-white, opens at night in spring, and lasts less than a day. Flesh of fruit is red. Photosynthesizes through green tissues of the arms and trunk. Grows arms when 60 to 80 years old and can live 200 years or more. The suaro is the signature plant of the Sonoran Desert. So much desert everywhere. Oh, oh, look at the mountains. Foothill Palo Verde The Arizona State Tree, most abundant tree in preserve. Photosynthesizes through green bark. Palo Verde means green stick in Spanish. The tiny leaflets shed in response to drought and yellow flowers in the spring. What does photosynthesize mean? Photosynthesize means the process by which green plants and some other organisms use sunlight to synthesize foods from carbon dioxide and water. No place like home. Or walking trails. <laughs> okay, let's keep going. There's a lot of cover. Or a lot of ground to cover. Yeah. A place to sit. Not too comfortable though. 
Oh, look! Triangle Leaf Bursage This is the nurse plant to young cacti. Protects young suaros from hungry animals, blazing sun and freezing temperatures. Drops leaves in response to low moisture. The plant is monoecious, bearing male and female flowers on the same plant. You learn something every day. These are cool cactuses. Look at that one. Oh, and that one. Teddy bear choya. Look out, avocado. The joints break off easily, seeming to jump. Joints may root, form new plants. The spines are barbed and painful to remove. Birds build nests on branches, and pack rats use the joints to insulate and protect their nests. Those look dangerous! More of them! Pretty. Chola. I think I'm saying that right. That's right, avocado. Buckhorn choya. The buckhorn choya has segmented stems, a feature common to all choya. The front flower is variable. Stamen filaments are red. The fruit is dry, with clusters of spines, eaten by squirrels and other rodents. That was a good one. Really hot. Be sure to drink a lot of water, avocado. We don't want you to get dehydrated. Another sign. Compass barrel cactus. This cactus grows faster on the shaded side. It tends to lean towards the south. Curved, flat spines have a red tint and the interior is similar to a damp sponge and is toxic to humans. Blooms yellow flowers in spring, and the fruit is eaten by squirrels. It's a bridge! Another bridge! There's a lot of paths in Arizona, that's for sure. I could get lost! No! I don't want to get lost, that would not be good! Oh look, another sign! Let's go see! Let's go see! Why are saguaros so special? Suaro growth Young suaros often begin life under a nurse plant, such as the triangle leaf bursage or palo verde tree. They are extremely slow growing, greatly influenced by soil conditions and summer rainfall. That's a suaro! The big, cool cactuses! 
Tawaros. You are learning a lot today, Avocado. I sure am. Rufty the wizard, the wonderful wizard of the desert. <laughs> I wonder if there is a wizard in the desert. That's a good question. I don't see him anywhere. Getting hot, really hot. Jojoba. The jojoba leaves have a vertical orientation, minimizing heat absorption in summer. Male and female flowers on separate plants. Dioecious. Flowers are wind pollinated, and the oil from the seed is used in lubricants and cosmetics. Okay, one more. Ocotillo. This is not a cactus. A drought deciduous, woody shrub. New leaves may grow within days after rain. Clusters of tubular shaped red flowers bloom on cane tips that attract hummingbirds. Okay, back to the main trail and back home. to the main trail and back home. I hope you enjoyed this fun little walk. Woo! That was hard! I love walking and it made me really tired. Okay, so that was really cool and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Wow, we learned so much here about cactuses. I hope you learned a lot too. Okay, well, bye-bye.